What is that squeaking sound? It started. Holy shit. It's the crickets. You want me to turn that down? That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? Ah, ha, ha. Wow, that's very... It's on three volumes still here. At like, yeah, you do, bro. The crocuses. Even on one, you can still hear it. That's crazy. <laughs> they do make that noise, man. They're... We're like, supposed to have, like, monster cicadas this summer. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. If we were still in Scranton. They're, they're, they're so cool. annoying. Yeah, you'd hear them a lot. They're so annoying, yeah. cicadas. Yeah. Do you guys use Rumble or YouTube? Neither. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel with the Smules on it, and that's about it. Yeah. And our cameos someday will be on there. Mm. Someday they'll be on there. But mm. That's all there is on it. We don't stream on it or nothing. Mm -mm. No. Nah. I wish I could, man. Be able to stream on YouTube. Make some dough that way. Canceled. Because, like... <clears throat> I have some interesting ideas and thoughts and interests. Oh, you don't use Insta a lot? Okay. Rach. I had a friend named Rachel a long time ago. I miss her. Um, but that's not why I'm here. Um... I just, like, want to talk about, like, self-control and, like, taking the high road. Because a lot of people just, they, they just take the low road lately. Like, all the time. And, you know, I, I'm, like, going on, like, I saw this one interview on, like, Fox Business. And he's a Republican, of course, but... He, he asked a question like, does the name calling and the rudeness, do you see that helping you any? Um, does it do you any good? And I just, I was, wow. Like, I remember America where we didn't call each other names when we didn't agree with another politically. Like, I remember there was a rule when you go to a party. You don't talk about religion. You don't talk about politics. Um, you don't talk about anything that can cause a fight because it's funner to not have that um, at parties. You can ruin parties that way. Um Oh, I'm sorry about that rage. Don't worry. Keep doing what you do, man. Keep doing what you do. Don't give up. Um, but it's like, I, I remember a time where neighbors used to talk to each other. Um, I remember where kids would play and be friends and go over each other's houses, and that doesn't really happen much anymore. Um, I even remember so far where uh, neighborhoods would have these block parties and um, everyone would contribute, you know, a meal, and you'd eat it. You know, you'd have just a fun time that way. Like, I, I, I remember that sense of community that we used to have, like humans as a whole. And then the internet happened and slowly but surely people stopped doing those things that they used to do and people got more selfish, more meaner, um, less concerned of other people. 
Um, it's just, it breaks my heart that people don't have self-control anymore to be just cordial with each other. I mean, you don't have to dislike someone because you don't agree with everything with them. Like, you don't have to hate, you know, the other person. Um, you can agree to disagree, you know, um, that's why, you know, it, our, our Congress and our senators used to work so well in America because you'd have one side and the other side and they were cordial with each other and giving each other back and forth ideas and there used to be this thing called compromise and you know because of that things got done in this country but now it's just name calling and democrat democrats do this or republicans do this it's like no compromise it's just you have you have to and i hate that you have to take a side and why, why, why must things be so black and white thinking like I'm a borderline. So I do my best not to have black and white thinking. It's called switching because it really damages your perception of things going on around you and the people around you. Um, it's best to think in ways that a lot of things we see and perceive are probably along the gray side, probably both sides, <laughs> whatever, but that's, that's, that's what I see. And also if you're going around and you don't like a particular person and you just let loose on them. You're not, you're not exactly being a good person there. You're, you're being the worst of people. You're, you're going the, the low side of things. You know, you're not handle taking the high road. You're taking the low road and you don't get anywhere with that other than more people giving you the low road. Um, so it's like better to take the high road sometimes, whatever, I guess, thing you're battling at the moment. Um, like me personally, I don't want to, I, I don't want to hurt anyone. Like I know I'm capable of it. I know I, I, I could, if I wanted to lash out on certain people that just continually want to hurt me, but it wouldn't make me feel good. It would make me feel bad to be like, wow, you really went down to that level. That's, it doesn't make me feel good. It, you know what it makes me feel weak? Um, in my opinion, true weakness is when you're attacking someone or you're not allowing civility to take place. Uh, true weakness is not holding your tongue. Uh, true weakness is allowing your carnal, animalistic feelings to be the only thing that matters. Uh, there's no logic in your decisions. Um, that's just how I feel. And that's true weakness. So if I want to be strong, I would hold my tongue. If I want to be strong, I won't seek the low road that people take vengeance 
hurting someone because, you know, you think it's going to make you feel good. It's not. Um, and really, if you think about it, um, if you're continually hurting someone, it's very much like an addiction. So you're weak for that addiction to want to see someone's reaction to your poor behavior. Um, you, you in fact, try to push people to their weaknesses and that's. That's pretty sad. Low thinking. No logic to it. Just pure emotion. I'd, I'd rather be thinking from my frontal cortex. Thank you very much. Um, but maybe some people will get what I'm saying. Maybe some people won't get what I'm saying. It really doesn't matter. What matters is, you know, everyone can do better than what they do. And everyone can learn to be silent instead of saying something mean to someone. Just because you can say something mean to someone. Maybe silence is better than that. So... Plus, if you think about it, when Jesus was being beaten and accused of all these things right before he died, he was silent. He, like, when you're silent, you, you strip the power away that they think they have over you. So, peace, Maranatha, guys.